You're my good friend. <laughs> I love you. Um, you're a sexy man. You're 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 the handsomest man I've ever I have ever been with. Okay. You're everything to me. <laughs> you're my cupcake. You're my cupcake. I wish I could get the light in better, man. I know. Fuck. My O-ring fucking dies on me. Yep. That hotel is cursed. Oh my god. I would agree. This hotel is cursed. Maybe. Good god. <laughs> Welcome to the ghost stories of Shannon. <laughs> I mean, that's equivalent to the lighting here. It, it, it's fine. It'll live. It'll live. Welcome <laughs> to the adventures of Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hi, Ted. Mr. Gavin. Pop out. Uh, I can see this better. Hi, Janice. How are you? <clears throat> oh, baby. You burpidids. Yeah. You burpidids like a cute man. Yeah, peanut butter burp. A peanut butter burp? Yeah. That's a thing. When am I looking to change my hair color again? Uh, not anytime soon, I'll say that, man. You want to grow it out your normal color, right? Yeah. Well, I don't have a migraine, thankfully. Well, well, Janice, that's... Oh, hi, Gavin. Gavin could say hi. He, 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 he's like, hi. I want to say hi to the people. He's a boy. Hello, everyone. I am a Gavin. I just want to tell everyone, happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving for everyone. Because mm -hmm. I am a good Gavin. I am a good kick -ass. And I love you all. I love you all. So I'll just stay here, and I'll just smile, and, and just be cute. That's what I will do. I will smile and be cute and purr for every single one. Because purring is healing. Yes. Yes, I will. You guys are all beautiful. And I love you so much. I am a Gavin. I am signing off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good boy. He good boy. He is a good boy. Purring. Oh, here's your good boy. Here's your good boy. You're just waiting for your dinner to arrive? Woohoo! Woohoo! What you having for dinner? I know, like, Wednesday night before Thanksgiving, most people mm -hmm. have, like, pizza or something like that. That's usually the traditional before Thanksgiving meal is pizza. Yeah. Jonar, why are you spitting up some bars, bro? <laughs> you spitting out so much bars. Oh, daddy is like going to the kitchen. So he's like, daddy. Can I, can I, can I spend some time with you? Oh. My bangs are driving me nuts. You're having a big Spanish style meal tonight? Mm, yum. That sounds delicious. I, I, I'm being served migraine, so...
I'm I'm ha I'm happy with that the migraine fucking serving. I don't even know what my husband is doing right now. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, that's me. I just freaking freaked myself out, man. Uh, I made fried rice with chicken and green onions for all my co-workers today. Oh, that's lovely. Enjoy your son's house for Thanksgiving, Jane. No, nah, I wasn't having it tonight. I wish I was. Ha well, I had pizza several times already. Oh, don't you hate when you have a migraine and your fucking eyeballs fucking water? Sucks so bad. It's like, why do you have to water eyeballs? You're driving me nuts. That's water and... Oh. Oh, yes, I'm rubbing my eyes. I probably shouldn't, but you know what? Fuck it. YOLO. Oh. <sighs> You're about to eat some mushrooms and go on a trip on Elon's rocket ship. <laughs> I've never had them before. I heard they're really good for people if you microdose them for depression, though. I'd like to go and, like, have one of those uh, medical things with that and see if it helps me. You know, I'm willing to do anything to kick the depression and the PTSD and everything like that, man. Jannar is really freaking weird. Uh, are mushrooms legal in Colorado? They're they're decriminalized in Denver. So you go to Denver County. You won't be charged with anything if you consume them. You can't sell them. But whatever, it is what it is. Ugh. Hi, baby. Hi, girl. I love you. I love you. You're a handsome man. You're a beautiful girl. Ugh. I feel like fucking shit. I've never tried them. I I would try them though if it's like in a medical like setting, just in case I like freak out or something. Cause I don't know what would happen with that. Did Rev get Tylenol? Well, no, he didn't. I don't even know if Tylenol would work in this type of situation with fucking migraine. I don't know. Maybe. Your heart bleeds for me. I'm sorry. Can I stitch it back up so it doesn't bleed out? I don't want you to bleed. Ted, if your parents disturb you so much, why do you keep going back to them? Like, maybe it's time, like, to take care of yourself and not feel forced to see people that 
mistreat you, man. It's not right to be mistreated, even if they're your parents. And I know that's hard to do, because it's like it feels like we have our loyalties on our parents and all, but like... If they're mistreating you, you shouldn't have to be in a situation where you feel unwanted. You know what I mean, hon? That sounds lovely, Mrs. Armor Lily. They and my family guilt trips and manipulates me. I'm sorry about that, Ted. You shouldn't be dealing with that, man. Maybe, maybe you should say no this year and just say fuck it, you know? Have your own little celebration alone. So you don't have to be so stressed out by assholes. I get it. Have ass I've had assholes in my family too, man. That's lovely. But cheesecake for dessert. I'd like some pumpkin pie. That would be nice. <laughs> I love pumpkin pie. Isn't it? No, it's okay. Life sucks, and sometimes this doesn't feel very fair, but it is what it is. Mmm. Boston Market. I love their freaking turkey at Boston Market. I used to get that all the time in Colorado, their turkey, and just eat it. <laughs> yeah, man. Pumpkin pie with whipped cream. Oh. Oh. My baby. Can I get some loving from you? Ellen's in love. I need a kiss on the forehead. Yeah. <laughs> Poor girl. My eyes won't stop watering, bro. Little puppy. The warmth on my head feels good. You feel a little warm. I do. Yeah. So I am getting a fever, like I saw. My baby boy. Mm -hmm. I am a boy. <laughs> My baby. Oh. Your son's married some good cooks. That's awesome. Uh. Oh. I feel like I'm also getting an ear infection, which isn't good. Like, it could be just the cold. Probably. Ugh. Fucking hate colds. Do you hate colds? Fucking hate it. I have, like, I'm gonna have such a shit fucking holiday. This fucking sucks. Fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. Like, why can't people fucking love me, man? Ugh. And realize I'm a person, too. And you're a person. And we have feelings. And and, and 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 we have value. And we are valid, just like everyone else mm -hmm. in this world. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
but I'll live, I guess. Fucking hate the holidays. I always have. Always reminds me of a time where it's like, you're not as valued as you should be. Yeah. No, people don't love their fellow man. Hi, Nicola. Everyone should have a nice meal on Thanksgiving. I'm not going to. How's it going? I'm depressed. Thank you, Rollinator, for wishing the both of us the absolute worst for the holidays. Thanks, man. That's really kind of you. You've been following my channel for a few months now. Awesome. Thank you for following. And and it's like, watch Macy's. I'm like, that's the worst part of Thanksgiving is the Macy's Thanksgiving parade. I hate to say it, but it's always so boring and everyone's so hokey and fake. And they're like, yay, let's be happy. And I'm like, fuck that shit. This is boring as shit. Can we, like, put on, like, the Mythbusters fucking, like, marathon, marathon or some kind of shit like that? I can't wait for Shady's comeback and not the kind in a Kim Kardashian's back. <laughs> you seemed into the holiday spirit in Colorado. Yeah, I had my sons. I I had like I was good then. My life didn't fall apart fully at that time. Now it's just falling apart. And now I'm just fucking done with life. What? Maisie's Parade has big balloons of iconic characters. I know. <laughs> but I never liked it. <laughs> I always wanted to see something else, man. I always wanted to see something else other than that, like... <laughs> like I said, the Mythbusters Marathon or something like that, man. I'm not... <laughs> what am I making for dinner tomorrow? Nothing. Oh, what is my favorite holiday? Well, it was Halloween, but it's like... I'm old now. My kids are older now. They don't fucking trick or treat. So it's like. Ugh. You know. I have no plans for tomorrow. Everyone else does. So, like, I'm kind of, like, jealous over that shit. Like, it's like, wow, they're having a good time. I love fall. I love Halloween. But Halloween isn't even the same anymore. I find kids want to be on their phones. Yeah, right? You just bought a pound of jelly beans. I love jelly beans. They're awesome. Yeah, I have Rev. And he has me. Still doesn't take that loneliness, like, away, I guess. That feeling of disappointment. Oh, 
Oh my god, Ted. My favorite jelly beans? I like the pink ones. Mm. I like Brash's jelly beans, okay? I don't I don't do the jelly belly thing. I do the Brash's jelly beans, man. Old lady candy. Yeah, old lady candy. I love old lady candy. It's the best. <laughs> nah, Janice, we don't. That's that's true, Ted, that Jason is one of my biggest blessings. He's my baby. My favorite. Thank you for the bit. I know my kids are older now, but my eight-year-old... He wants to rush home and play Fortnite. I'll have that loud. He's too cute. Yeah. Aw, oh, Gavin Keycots. There's another blessing. Yeah. It's the Gavin and Watermelons. But where the fuck are they? I don't know. Who knows? Ugh. My head hurts. I was in your boat, man, I know. I know, man. You gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Contagious headaches. <sighs> headaches that feels like your head's gonna fucking just blow up? Yeah. yeah. Horrible. Ugh. <sighs> I have a little ginger baby. His name is Cheeto himself. His name is Cheeto himself. Sweet my fur bubba. Cheeto? That's the same name as Shane Dawson's orange cat. Yeah. He named him Cheeto too. Ted, my little guy, asked me what boxers eat for lunch. I told him dog food. He said knuckle sandwiches. That I, ah, that's cute. <laughs> I don't have my kids because I won't take a drug test. I've taken several. What the fuck are you talking about, stupid? Get the hell off my channel. God, you people are so dumb sometimes. I love Shane Dawson. I love Shane Dawson, too. I was, I was laying down with no light off, but it's like, I'm just like bored at this point. Like, I need to do something with my life. Uh, I'm sorry about that, Ted. Life is unfair. That's one thing and lesson that that many people don't want to accept is life is fucking unfair. Or how Simon Pegg puts it on spy space. Life is nothing but a thankless struggle. It's true. It is a thankless struggle. You know, you try to do your best, you try to make people happy, and it's doesn't matter at the end of the day. Wonderful, Lardo.
That's weird, Overladen. I've seen my favorite song, no. Yeah, why why are we here anyway? I always thought about that when I was little. Yeah, right? Like Why can't we live in a utopia? Like this world is v becoming very dystopic and I'm fucking done at this point. <laughs> what is my favorite food group? Veggies? You like starch. I say veggies. Nothing better than some celery. That hoodie looks huge on me now. Yeah, I know. It is huge on me. I mean, look, like, this is like, it's just... <laughs> I don't care. I'll wear a big giant bag. <laughs> My favorite Starbucks drink. Oh, I love the um the Java chip frap. Yeah, that's true, Dollies. Uh, I wish I could puff puff. I don't got anything. I don't got no puff to puff puff. I got shit. <laughs> Speaking of life not being fair, I had to intervene when someone was poking fun of an Indian girl at the gas station with a dot in the middle of her forehead. Everyone needs someone to stand up for them sometimes. Thank you, Ted. Why are they making fun of her? That's so bullshit, man. Hi, V. That's some bullshit. God, I'm so sick of people. Like, can't you guys just, like, is your opinion, is your rude fucking asinine opinion so fucking important that you have to hurt someone so you can express it? Like, there should be, like, an, 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 an in the mind voice and an out the, and, 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 and a, a public voice where you, man. If they brought back dueling, this shit wouldn't happen anymore. An armed society is a polite society. I think we should go back being armed so people will shut their fucking mouths. Mm. <laughs> I've. Yeah, that's true. Hurt people, hurt people. That that is true. They want to make themselves feel better. You have a great uh, Thanksgiving, Jane. Later, girl. Oh, God. So sick of life. Can I just go to a place? Where I can just be happy for once. Can I go to a place where I don't have to struggle anymore? Can I just be in that place in life? Where I, where I have no more pain. I have no more suffering. You know, I, I, I don't feel like fucking ass all the goddamn time. Can I just be in that place in life? Where it's not such a horrible headache. That That's where I want to be. You know? Hi, Becky. It's been a long time. 
How you doing, Becky? Good hair. I do. I do need a hug. Thank you, Overladen. You want to be there too. Life sucks. Yeah, it does, man. It does. And then I hear like this fucking report that like if you if you wish to die, you actually live longer. And I'm like, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna live till I'm like a hundred and ten. <laughs> with that that type of line of thinking it's like no man like lord don't 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 keep me stuck here <laughs> let me go to my happy place man hop after and had Phil tell your hubby to rub your shoulders he's been rubbing me he has been rubbing me Dude, we should have some good girl time and have fun. But I don't have any student loans overlaid and mine were paid off. Talk about Rev's video. Oh, like like not becoming the people that you hate yeah. or the people you dislike or don't do the same things they do yeah don't do the same things they do pretty simple rev seems sad in that video he is sad of course he's sad both of us have no family. It's the holidays and everyone's all fucking acting excited over it. You'd be sad too. We're all alone. And it sucks. Yeah, I just look forward to sleep. That's... Yeah, sleep is a good a good a good ending to like escape. fuck this world, right? Escape, yeah. Right. Yeah. And I love to cuddle you. I like cuddlings mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Oh. Jesus, that doesn't even sound like Tampax. Uh, at least you guys have each other. Also, hi to my favorite couple. Thank you, Zabonkers. Life is so weird sometimes. Yeah, life is fucking shit. That's what it is. <laughs> can be. Yeah. <laughs> There's my analysis on life. And it, it fucking life sucks. <laughs> be very rough. I have a Thanksgiving, bro. <laughs> I have a Thanksgiving. DC and Negs are in co competition with the couple in? That's so dumb. You guys need money for anything specifically? Food? Gas? All that beautiful bean footage. All that beautiful bean footage. Yeah, gas and food. That's a good answer. Life sucks, then you die. Broken alone. Yeah, exactly, right? My sucks, too, dealing with teen, teen girls. Oh, Jesus, are they ragging? 
that that's makes him even aw aw awfuler. Girls fight worse than boys in their teens. I'm so glad I didn't have girls. I inspire you, Walmart. Awesome. Can you give me some of your money, Walmart? What's your happy news, Crow? I'm far more entertaining than DC and fucking Negs. All right. We're winning apparently this this couple fucking competition. I didn't know fucking existed. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have an absence. Or an abscess anywhere. Absence. Oh my god, I can't even fucking speak. Abscess. I'm becoming like Biden. Just fucking words are fucking colliding into other words. I proposed to my girlfriend, said yes, me and Caitlin gonna have an exclusive wedding next summer. That's awesome, Crow. I'm happy for you. It's real cool. Good job. You may not have pockets full of cash, but you're very wealthy with knowledge. Ugh. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. Let's go, Brandon. That Brandon's having a good year. Yeah, that Brandon is having a good <laughs> year. <laughs> fucking Biden. That was a great burn on Biden's call, man. That yeah. was fucking great. But, and, and fucking Jill looks fucking horrified when he's saying that. Yeah, but he's <laughs> 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 Welcome to America, Joe. We're here, you're the people who voted for you will also tell you to fuck off. Oh my God. <laughs> oh well thank you carrie no i i'm i'm more attractive than dc and better style well thank you <laughs> Oh, poor DC. She's gonna hate me with this shit, man. She, I'm gonna have like this big old like negs, like you're a child pedophile type bullshit that he likes doing to people you don't like. Shut up, Shannon, you fatty, fatty, fat, fat, fatty, fat, fat. <laughs> okay, negs. Have you been, have you, have you finally taken dialectic behavior therapy yet, Negs? No? Okay, you should. Uh, <laughs> your BPD's kind of getting the best of you, bro. Uh, Rev looks like the animated Joker now. Yes, my Joker. Yeah, if I dyed my hair green, I could probably do that pretty Mark much. Hamill fucking Joker. <laughs> Nicholson Joker. <laughs> nah, I haven't seen Neg's hunchback. We all have our problems. I'm not gonna make fun of him over that. That's just wrong. You know, I'm pretty sure, like, today, for instance, on, like, Twitter, Mrs. Fucking Wonderful, like, posted Neg's house, and I said, not cool, man. You could do be better like that, and and she just fucking raged on me. She's like, of all you of all people, should be talking like this. And I'm like, well, I don't fucking dox people, and and, and then she like blocked me on Twitter mm. after fucking raging on me over me just telling her to be like better. Which is kind of funny because it's very reminiscent of like when I was like talking, I, I told G-Man to be nice and he raged on me too. So I'm learning now that supposed Christians 
in the world. When you tell them to be nice or to be better than apparently the other reprobates in the world, uh, they like to rage and have their excuses and continue down their onslaught on hating individuals. So I, 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 I then think back to Gandhi when he says, I, I like your Jesus Christ, I like your Christ, but I don't like, I don't like his people. And I agree with him over that shit. <laughs> like, no, Doxin is not cool. Rev looks like a Chinese knockoff of Ted Nugent. You look like the Nuge, bro. Chinese knockoff of Ted Nugent. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Whatever. I'm... Can you can you take your crossbow and like hunt us some deer? Uh, I might have to. You might have to. Might have to. Probably gonna have to. Oh man, I'll take some venison, man. That'll be good Thanksgiving. <laughs> Have a big fucking plate full of fucking venison. That sounds real good. I'll fucking clean it and everything. I, I know how to gut a deer. You know how to gut a motherfucking deer. I know how to gut and process a fucking deer, yeah. That's good. I'm into that redneck shit. You need a hunting license first. You used to hunt. I I've been known to to do it. Yeah. I'll be in Wilkesbury this weekend. I'll take Jason hunting with me. Take me hunting. I like the fucking kill. He doesn't. That's right. He is down. You would be too if you had nothing to do during the holidays and everyone else is like, I'm doing this and this and this and it's like, I want to stuff my face. <laughs> Are you still a vegetarian? Hell no, man. I like, I started having like problems with uh, getting very, uh, Sorry. Ow. Gotta adjust the knees. <sighs> Ow. Pain without love. Pain. I just can't. And, uh, pain. I like it rough because I'd rather feel pain than nothing at all. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> but what I was saying is, ow, ow, ow. I got very anemic, so, uh, and bruised all over, so I'm like, shit, I can't do this anymore. Let's make a deal. If I bag a dealer, I'll give you 20 pounds of the meat. I'll take it. I'll take it, Ted. Oh, it's not the holidays where you're at. Yeah, it is here. Thanks, Carrie. You sound like you're in a lot of pain. Is your hip bad? Both both hips have osteoarthritis, bro. My hip hurts. My my knee is Dude, I osteo is growing everywhere in my body. Ow. Growing everywhere. My hips, my back, my shoulders, my fingers, my phalanges. You could even see you can you could see the kind of like twists and especially my pinky. You can see they're getting all fucking crooked and shit. <laughs> Me, I would hunt deer and fish. It doesn't 
grow, whatever. When I say it grows, I'm just saying it's all over the place. And osseo does grow. You should look at the freaking bone shit on my ankle. Anyway. Well, it gets worse. Yeah. It's progressive. Yeah. Progressive. It grows. Yeah. It moves. They mean hunt fish. I said I've been, I've hunted, I've fished. Shit. Sorry if it came out wrong. <laughs> My brain isn't what it used to be. Any turkey today, I wish. I'll eat some fucking turkey. I ain't gonna have no holiday this year, man. I'm all alone in this fucking world, man. With my husband. We got nothing to do. Nothing. Not a damn thing. I'm just like, fuck everyone. <laughs> fuck people who are celebrating the holidays when I'm all fucking alone. You can't see me with my hood up. I'm sorry. I apologize. Do I have makeup on my knuckles? Yes, I have makeup on my knuckles. That's that's exactly what it is. It's, it's makeup on my knuckles. Shitty lighting. Uh. Oh. It's me, your teddy bear. Wonderful. I wouldn't mind a cuddle from a teddy bear, I'll just be honest. When you get back on your feet, will you do more smule songs? One minute, guys. One minute. Um...
I'd like a free hug, teddy bear. I'd really like a free hug. How do you surprise a blind person? Put a plunger in the toilet. Jesus! That's awful! That sounds like a painful thing, man. Jeez. Shaddy said it's a, cu a couple of times it's always the same people. I almost didn't come in because I don't want people to get tired of me. I'm not going to get tired of you. You're awesome. Oh, thank you for the hugs, teddy bear. I need it. Ow, ow, ow. I don't get it. Plunger in the toilet? Oh, well, sit on one. <laughs> You want to hear a cool hunting story? Okay. Well, me and my ex-boyfriend were up in Nebraska, right? And he wanted he wanted to hunt quail. Because it was during the Thanksgiving time. He wanted to get some quail for his family and shit. That's it's actually my first hunting experience. And he took me in this field. I feel the same way. I just want to be part of a positive community. Same. Can I be your angel? Please, angel. Be my angel. I need angels. I need everything. Can you snap your fingers? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm sassy. Bet you can't lick your own elbow. I'm I can do it close. Remember the old Nadia hangouts, which they would make a comeback? The old Nadia hangouts? Jesus Christ. You, you need to talk to Jason about that. I, I wasn't really involved in that. I was, like, busy with the kids back in that time because they were small. I have no idea, Nicola, what it means. Mmm. I want to do the cooking streams. I need to. No. No, I don't snipe people. Uh, I, I'm, I, I find it unethical to snipe. Um. I think people really need to start figuring out how to gain attention for themselves instead of using other people for attention. I can call you Nicole. Okay. I don't think there's a creature called a snipe. I've never heard of a snipe. But, whatever. I would be stoked to have all that attention. No, you wouldn't. <sighs> right? Google and tell us you'll like its tradition. What? Google? Yeah, okay. Damn real, no. There's no such thing as a fucking animal called a snipe. I'm not dumb.
Okay, there is a snipe. I was wrong. It's a bird. So I, f I, I apologize. Oh, look at this, snipe hunt. Although a snipe are actual family of birds, a snipe hunt is a quest for an imaginary creature whose description varies. The target... It's a type of practical joke or fool's errand. Yeah. Yeah. Snipe hunting is often associated with summer camps and groups such as Boy Scouts. A similar joke is called hunting the Dahoot. So dumb. Anyway, thanks for the dumbness. I appreciate it. I have become dumber because of it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Try licking my elbow. Why? Not really, you just learned that there's a bird. Yeah, whatever. It looks like one of those birds you see in Florida. It's a country folks prank. <laughs> now you know about one more bird in the world. I know, right? Listen, no one can fucking lick their elbow unless they, like, <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> you get educated, my dear. I don't want to be educated. I want to be, I want to, like, live in my fucking ignorance. I want to be in the matrix where I can eat a fucking steak and, and, you know, feel like I'm fed. I definitely can't lick my elbow. Nah, man. I just tried and failed. Yeah, I know. Everyone try to lick their elbows for fucking Thanksgiving. <laughs> the lighting makes me look like a serial killer. I wish my trolls felt like that. Maybe they leave me alone. Can you find your elbow? No, nah, there's way too much fat in the way. I bet Rev could lick my elbow. I have no idea, Nicole. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna go dumpster diving and then all everything I eat tastes like fucking garbage. <laughs> Rev, lick it. Tell Rev to try. You want to lick my fucking elbow? I mean, you have licked other places of mine before. I'll do it if I don't have to go on tonight and I can go on tomorrow. Huh? I don't want to go on tonight. I'm very depressed, honey. So am I. Go to the food bank on a holiday. Really? They're open? When? Where has he licked before? I'm 
some people have seen my OF, they should know. <laughs> He's looked everywhere. Anyway. He's like, I just don't want to go online. I'm depressed, honey. I'll lick you later. No, I'll lick you now. You okay, know. lick me. Lick me, you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> they can't. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Like this. Wait. There. 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 There we go. There. <laughs> that was real weird. Uh, <laughs> Somebody's gonna take that. <laughs> Somebody's clipping that. <laughs> you know that's gonna be used. <laughs> Damn, no wonder you love Jason. That's some ton work, right? <laughs> you can see nothing. I don't know, M. <laughs> Jason deserves food after that. I know. So gross. Okay. <laughs> Show us your hair. I know, it's so horrible. That's fucking gross, dude. <laughs> like, fuck that. I ain't dealing with that shit. How do I deal with the nasty comments? I realize it's the internet and these people have um, most likely mental illness that's unchecked and they don't realize that they have a obsession problem with people they hate and they probably should get therapy so they know how to conduct themselves in a civilized civilization. That's what goes through my head anyway. I could deal with someone saying my snatch is gray. It's okay. I It's not, but, you know, I know it's not true, so it doesn't really matter to me. Not gray at all. <laughs> I'm trying to actually talk to you. I'm talking to you. Does Rev have a dream he wants to share? What? Uh, no. That's a weird question, bro. It's GD, GG Allen. Oh. Uh, that would explain it. Yeah, it would. Yeah. <laughs> I'm old, my probably is. Oh my god, maybe the quiet. Don't say that. Mine is a nice little, like, burgundy, like, pink type color, man. Can Rev sing DuckTales with us? You see what I'm talking about now? What are you talking about? When did you sing DuckTales? Seal. 
Yeah, it's all fake. How am I passing judgment exactly? Hmm. I can burn myself. My husband insults me constantly. It's hilarious. Uh, go away. Rev was seen in it earlier. You were seen in DuckTales earlier? No. I don't know what you're talking about. DuckTales, woohoo! Um. The song that's been stuck in my head recently, and it's been stuck in my head for almost a month, is Slumber Party, ooh, 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 Slumber Party. <sighs> When's Rev's next live stream? I don't know, man. How can everyone send me donations? Well, you can go to PayPal at Shanny Needs Love, or you can go to PayPal at the Rev Dude. At Rev Dude, sorry. You have you had the theme from Carrie in your head, Jesus. The 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 Carrie movie where like. They dump pig's blood over her, that one? Yeah, let me just give the freaking link, okay? My lovers. My lovers. Ooh, 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 Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Saw a message from the boys and was uh, quiet about it because nobody's business what my kids are telling me. Um, sorry about that. So I apologize for that. Um, but where was I? Oh yeah, I was going to give you my PayPal link. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh... Oh, shit. That's your PayPal, not my PayPal on my phone. Son of a business. Log out and log into yours. Yeah. Son of a business. Biznitch. Biz, biznitch. I'm actually, I actually would love to, like, stop cussing. That would actually be very helpful to me if I just stop fucking cussing. See, I can't fucking do it. <laughs> Shit, I did it again. <laughs> I want to. I swear I want to. <laughs> oh. 
whatever. It's at Shanny Needs Love. I, I'm I'm done trying to find it, and I don't want to frick it. I. <laughs> <sighs> corrupt manners corrupts whatever uh, th that stuff whatever it is says I'm enabling degeneracy. What kind of degeneracy am I doing right now other than talking to people? I know, it's so degenerate talking to people. Tell Rev every bad word he takes a piece of food away to make it a challenge. No, I do not do reactions, and I really don't join people to speak about them over them trying to create drama in my life. It's pretty hard to take a piece of PB away. I know, right? Piece of peanut butter. Maybe, maybe like, it's crunchy peanut butter. Maybe, like, a peanut... Peace. <laughs> you better get a steal some of his peanut butter if he swears. <laughs> Gmail wants to smooth things out. Huh. Why? His other scheme didn't work? I don't think so. Am I excited for the holidays? Hell no. I hate the holidays and always have. I was talking about Chantel's business the other day. No, I wasn't. How was I talking about Chantel's business the other day? I don't fucking trust him. I seem very giggly tonight. I'm giggly every night. Because I got a wonderful husband. Ill. He just wants attention. Fuck him. He just wants attention. I'm not. I'm not doing that. You know. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. Or fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. I don't think so. I've had enough of that shit. I'm not gonna be fucking played again. <clears throat> Did you or did you not make a long video talking about Chantel, her husband, and AOL? Um, well, I was talking about Stop Fat Shaming Amber Lynn, which was completely done in the public. So, that's not me talking about her personal business. That's me talking about an event that happened on the internet. <laughs> fool me once you won't be f get fooled again exactly what George Bush said <laughs> I 
Nope, I'm happy you made that video. I, listen, I just, like, I have a problem with fat people fat shaming other people. I have a problem with people making fun of gay people, okay? My son's gay. And, and, and I hate to say that type of speech does cause violence in people who are mentally ill. It caused violence in them. I hate fat shame and period. Only childish for grown adults to fat shame, right? Your daughter is gay? Yeah, right? So when I see someone do this with their hand, I automatically think about my son and how that would make him feel. Fat and fat crime. Well, you, you know, you like. It just ain't right. It just ain't right. And she needs to apologize. It would be very big of her. If she would just apologize to. To uh, Zachary Michael and Amberlynn and and just. Let that stupid shit go. It would be big of her to do it. You know? And you know, I like Zachary Michael as a person, too. He's never been, like, rude to me or anything. He's always kind of been very nice to me. So it's like, I, I can't hate a guy who's been kind to me. So, like, I don't know. Yeah. She always gets wrapped up in the men that are in her life. I'm just wondering if this is going to last or not. I don't know. Because she's already looking very tired. So. I've been watching Chantel for years. So it's like you're seeing her already tired in the relationship. So it's like. Shit. Shit. I'm not, I, I, I don't, I, I'm just going to shut up there. You know, I can't say anything. I heard Amber Lynn is a bitch. Hmm. I, we all can be. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mention Becky's ex's name anymore. I miss Becky. I love Becky. Ugh. Becky was hot. Yeah, Becky is fucking hot. She's got like this like it's her attitude. That's I, I think Becky's hot, but I, I, I think it because of her attitude. You know, I'm very like pansexual in a lot of ways. So it's like I'm very attracted to like spirits and of people and stuff. And she's got, he, she's got this, like, pimp, like, uh, like, attitude with her. Like, she's like, yeah, I got that stuff. And it's like, uh, ooh. <laughs> Does Rev want to play poker on Man's Night? You would have to ask him. Stop talking about how women smell. That's so gross, men. Yeah, exactly, Janice. Becky has swag. Yeah, she does. And it's like... Hmm. I like that. I love her style and I love how she does art. I just love her to death. I think she's amazing. And I, I just... I wish... She would put out 
more content, but at the same time, she just seems like the type of person that's really insecure. And I'd love to like, just bring her light out. Cause I know she has such an amazing light. All right, Gigi, I'll, I'll ask. I'm not going to promise anything. What is my favorite game of all time? Does it have to be a video game? He told the internet they haven't done it. Then they're not. How are they married exactly? Yeah, on a live stream. How are they married exactly? You're supposed to consummate the relationship. That's grounds for fucking um, divorce. Yeah, that does kind of sound like an Irv. That's what I don't understand. You want privacy and then you say that. Yeah, right? Like. I, I sure as hell wouldn't want to stay married to someone who ain't boinking me. I'll say that. That's just sad. That's just sad. That's just fucking sad. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Get yourself an annulment, girl. <laughs> Get back to fucking Canada. I like this format. It's like a chill podcast, right? Nah, I'm drinking some coffee. I'm trying to drink as much caffeine as I possibly can. Thank you. Thank you. It's a cute little, cute little teacup. But it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I love coffee and cigs. Who doesn't? That's a beautiful combination. Cigs and coffee. It's a fucking beautiful combination. What is going on here, man? Okay, sorry. I don't really like Red Lobster, per se. Can I call you the Pillsbury Dough Girl? <laughs> Uh, you seem like such a complex and logical woman. I bet men find it hard to relate to you. No, I really, I really don't have a hard time with dudes, man. <laughs> 
dudes have been my prime freaking friends most of my life. So like, I don't, I, I've never really had problems with chilling with dudes. I don't know. Maybe that's me. Plus, plus, I like doing dude things. A Smitty's? No. What is a Smitty's? Let me look that up. What is a fucking Smitty's? Is it a service station? Because I see there's one in PA. Yes, I am cranky. I do enjoy the women's. One minute. <sighs> Sorry about that. Boy again. Given the given the Kit Kats foods. Is Rev LGBT as well? No. He's a straight dude. But he's an ally. He's an ally. Rev, Rev has been an ally since, like, Nadia. He helped Nadia a lot. Yeah. When she was going through her transition in. Yep. So he actually helped her get her transition, which is awesome. Thank you, maybe the quiet. The wife wants you to get drunk and take you to the strip club. Okay. Please brush your hair. It looks like a Joe Dirt wig. Nah, man, I'll leave it like Joe Dirt. Wait, I need to like, wait. Let me see. It don't work. <laughs> what? It don't work. I'm done with hair. I want to shave my head bald. Uh, I have done TikTok. I haven't done it in a while. I should, though.
No, they're they're Isaac Mahrahes. They're actually flowers that are on the frames. Flowers. <laughs> You'd get tons of views if you shaved your head on stream. Yeah, and I'd probably lose a husband too. <laughs> that would make an amazing movie, Rev Dirt instead of Joe Dirt. <laughs> <gasps> shave Rev's head? Nah, he doesn't want to shave his head. <laughs> I'm just sick of fucking dealing with hair. Thank you. Joe Dirt is one of your favorite movies. Awesome. I love your Joe Dirt. Ooh, 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 slumber party. No, I'm not going to go to a strip club. I'm not into them. I I think they are a way how to objectify women in a very negative manner. Um, they've also been known to cause drug and alcohol abuse. And frankly, I would find it boring. So, plus, I am monogamous. So, since I'm monogamous, I'm not that much into that shit. Isn't it up to the women if they want to be objectified? Yeah. But then they grow up and realize I don't, I, I, I was wrong for going through that, you know? So... You know, I don't know. It depends on the person, I guess. But me, I would not have fun doing it. At all. But then again, I, I did say I'm pansexual, so I'm more attracted to spirits. The person, per se. Like, I'm sexually attracted to the person, not how they look, per se. Gavin, are you a happy boy? Did you just get your foods? Did you just get your foods? Was your foods good? Yeah. You licking your lips because they're good foods. <laughs> oh my God, he's such a precious baby. I was a model. I was a model for John Casablanca's. Back when I was a teen. Or you say you wouldn't enjoy making a couple thousand dollars a night to dance on stage. Why, you offering, Gigi? 
Hey, if you want to see my fat ass roam around the stage naked for a couple thousand dollars, I'll fucking do it. I have no fucking shame. But... <laughs> I'll run around on stage and, and, and strip on the pole and like, you know, roam around the pole and then fall on my fat ass and then you can see the jiggles. I can twerk. I can twerk really good. I can shake my ass. Uh. <laughs> Why is it always in Houston? Because there's nothing else to do in Houston. It's all the freaking like you know, fumes from the oil refineries makes everyone fucking horny for some shit reason. But no, nah, I would never go back to Houston. Are you kidding me? I fucking hate that place. I hate the fact like you're up early in the morning and you want to see the fucking city of fucking Houston and it's just this big fucking cloud of fucking smog and it's like, Ew, you go outdoors and it smells like fucking ass refineries. This one's bad. I know it was bad. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck that shit. anywhere in Texas I would want to live in is probably Amarillo. I like Amarillo. Plus it's on the border of New Mexico. Really nice place. Amarillo's got a really nice, really cool library. You know? <laughs> but no, I, I used to live in Pasadena for like a few months. I lived in Pasadena, Texas. You know, I, I think, I think the, I think I felt better when I left the Pasadena Houston area and went to Clearwater, Texas to visit fucking NASA. That was nice. That was nice. It looked clean there. You're in Shani. Just did your application to the strip club. Good luck. Well, thank you. Just smoked a fat bowl and now I'm eating butter noodles out of a mixing bowl. Dude, that's a good thing. <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, boys. Anyway, <laughs> I'm like going back and forth. <laughs> Ted's having a good time, man. He's like, shit, man, I just smoked this big old stogie here. Mm -hmm. Now I'm eating them butter noodles out of a mixing bowl. Whoo! Did you at least put parm on it? You know. Did you mean Clear Lake? Yeah, Clear Lake. Sorry. Fuck. 
<laughs> I said Clearwater. I was thinking Clearwater, Florida. Mm. Been there too. <laughs> Clearwater is a, a fuck. Clearwater, Florida is um, next to Tyndall, I think. <laughs> you see how my brain works, people? I think I think Clear Lake, and I automatically go to Clearwater. It's like it's like Doctor Who, where a million <laughs> where um, River Son was uh what what was it um. Shit, I can't even think. It was like, oh my god! See, you see, my brain—it's not working anymore. I probably have like early stage fucking uh, Alzheimer's. Dementia. Yeah, dementia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my brain is like gone. <laughs> you have a good, you you have a good day. Uh, the bonkers enjoy your faults. <laughs> I can't think anymore. <laughs> well, I just thank you, Ted, for gift subbing. Maybe the quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be looking at Riff someday and be like, Who are you, baby? Probably. You sure got some nice cute butt there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can I pinch <coughs> Can I pinch that nice butt of yours? <coughs> uh, we're married. Really? Woo, I sure won the freaking lottery there. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> That's very cute. <laughs> he was picking on my Houston. Now, maybe the quiet, you damn well know that Houston is a smoggy, smoggy fucking place. Okay. No. No. I'm probably going like halfway, like sleep deprived, fucking delusional. Mm. Freaking, I have a headache, borderline fucking feverish. <laughs> like I lived in Houston. What? What was it? Like three, four months or something before my dad fucking rescued me. And, um, we moved to Colorado after that. He, like, rescued me from fucking Houston. I was like, this place is fucking trash, Dad. I want to go back to fucking Florida. And he's like, nah, I got a job in Colorado. So I'm like, okay. So here we are driving all through fucking Texas. There's a dead cougar on the fucking road. Mm. Like, huge fucking cougar on the side of the fucking road. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and we were like that deep in, in Texas where you could see the tumbleweeds. Mm. <laughs> then drove up to Amarillo, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love Amarillo. And to New Mexico. Stayed at this beautiful hotel, and I finally found, I, I saw the fucking Rocky Mountains. Mm. And my jaw dropped. I never saw anything so beautiful in my entire life. Shani, can you do a Rubik's Cube? Well, that's actually fucking interesting. Because <laughs> my son actually... I, this is in my purse because I love him so much. But my son actually <laughs> got me this little mini Rubik's Cube. And no, I can't do a Rubik's Cube. 
I wish I could. I got a snap of fingers and that's my whistle. You never did a Rubik's Cube? No, I've never done it. Never finished it. I did. I wish I'd seen the Rocky Mountains. That'd be so relaxing and beautiful. You should try it at least once. Just like, just see them. They are amazing mountains. And I will always be in love with them. <laughs> well, you're halfway there. I'm not, I guess. We, we should do like a stream where Shani tries to solve a fucking Rubik's Cube. Mm. I'll be cussing the whole time, probably. Even though I don't want to cuss. <laughs> Shanny versus the cube. I know, right? Oh man, when you say Shanny versus the cube, my mind automatically goes to fucking Pinhead. And then I'm like, oh shit, the cube. <laughs> I, I I know I'm I know I'm Christian and all, but one of my favorite like scary movie series is the Hellraisers. I can't help it. I can't help it. I love the Hellraisers. I think the only good one is Bloodlines. Bloodlines, really? Bloodlines is a great movie, but the rest are dog shit in my opinion. I don't know. But the song Hellraiser is amazing. It's one of the best. Hellraiser! L Lemmy. Both. They're both phenomenal. Lemmy and Ozzy. Together they finally... Oh, they did the collab. You should look that up on YouTube where Lemmy and fucking Ozzy did a collab of Hellraiser. It's one of the best freaking videos. awesome. One of the best videos of all time. It's so good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Every minute you don't solve it, you have to take off a piece of clothing. Gigi Allen, is that a way to talk to a married woman? Yes, my best time on Rubik's is 122. I've been practicing, though. It's on my TikToks. That's awesome. Wow. I think it's a pattern to learn on a Rubik's Cube, and I don't know the pattern. Neither do I. Our new new timeline 2022 says hello Rev. They have a crush on you. New timeline. They 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 want to they want to like do this on your your pee pee. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> Come on. Well, thank you for saying hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> I have these Jimmy Dean sausage fingers. I can't handle a Rubik's Cube. Yeah, I got Jimmy Dean sausage fingers. Bless them. I love me some Jimmy Dean. Mm -hmm. That's some good stuff. Lynn's playing game says, Hi, Rev, in a Christian way. Okay, hi. <laughs> in a Christian way. A holy kiss. Listen, a lot of people saw the OnlyFans and got jealous. It's okay. That, hey. <laughs> want a pussy eater? Most women want a pussy eater. They want their pussy eat. Yeah. It's just. And that's my favorite thing to do. So that's it. <laughs> Shanny, you're the one I want. Oh. Nice. Really? There you go. Mm. I'm a complicated person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can be hard to deal with sometimes. Are you sure you want to align with that type of stuff? I've been, I got money. What? I, 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 I'm not a whore. <laughs> I had to think about that, like. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> thank you. You and Jason are relationship goals. 
Shady is like the puzzle box from Hellraiser. That's a good, good analogy, GGL. And I mean, you open me up and all hell breaks loose. Like, like you, you really want to enter my life? Just be prepared to go through some fucking shit. Because that's my fucking luck. It's to go through fucking eternal fucking shit. I need a caretaker live and pays good $25 an hour. Hey, baby. She wants to be caretaked by you. Nice. <laughs> right. I'm caretaked by him, but I get extras, if you know what I mean. We got, like, that friends with benefits shit going on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There, there's the big secret. Me and Rev are not really in a relationship. We're just friends with benefits. Yeah. Nah, me and me and Jason were friends way before we got romantic with each other. Like we've known each other for ten yeah. years now. Yeah, ten years. Do I wear shoes? I've never seen any shoes you like. What type of shoes do you use? Well, I I've I I very much enjoy going barefoot most of my life. Um, but shoe-wise, I, I don't know. I would have to look at them and see. I like those little ballet shoes that are really flimsy. Those are really nice. I will not wear heels. I refuse to wear heels. I refuse. No, Ted, I don't. Okay. I aesthetically like the look of stilettos, but I refuse to wear them. Like, if I got stilettos, they would be used as a decoration, not as a wearing thing. You know, I'm too arthritic to wear them stilettos. Oh, yeah, ballet are soft and comfortable. Yeah, I know. I love boots. I, hey, I love me some combat boots. I love combat boots because they really have, like, really good ankle support. <laughs> but I also, I, I like my fuzzy boots that I have. Yeah, that's what you're rocking. Yeah. You need a caretaker, okay. I wore my wife's high heels as a gag and it was like trying to balance a hog on a rolling pin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> yes, I'm like, I've never seen Shanny wearing shoes. Maybe because you're always streaming, sitting down, maybe. I know, right? Here, you want to show my... Can, you want to grab my boot? I'll show you my boots. That I like rocking. Summer or fall or whatever. I just love these boots, how they look. They're adorable. Look at this. They're all rainbow. Like, this is... Doesn't that look like something Shani would wear, though? The boots. I love these things. I get so many compliments for these boots. It's it's amazing. Yeah, they're cool as shit. <laughs> now you can see how big my fucking feet are. But then again, I'm 5'10", so that would explain why I have big feet. Mm -hmm. My dad's shoe size was size 15. <laughs> Yeah, my dad had huge fucking feet. Amazing. Yeah, he was 6'4". My brother's 6'5". Five, 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 five. 
I smoke weed, so I will share with you all. You've got to do is pay for your own food. <laughs> we got a live-in situation going on. I'm playing the new Pokemon game. It's great. Oh, yeah. I would love to play Violet. Yeah. It's open world, right? Yeah. That's cool as shit. Like, um, 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 uh, you know, Angry Coconut? Yeah. He actually put a video on it, and it's like, <laughs> I think the title is, I had a wonderful gay, t gay ass time on the new Pokemon. I'm like, yes, Kane. You you see Bigfoot hunters pouring in plaster into my footprints? Cool. Yeah. I am Bigfoot. There's the secret. <laughs> there you go. Every full moon I grow a full face of hair and get naked in the woods and and just troll the fuck out of the people wanting Bigfoot pictures. Yeah. That's 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 a true story. You can tell Rev has big feet because he has such strong shoulders. Oh. <laughs> oh, Rev, you you can't come to the to to her house. She only wants me. Oh, okay, gotcha. I understood. What's my favorite deodorant? I like Dove. I like Dove. I like Dove. I, I like Dove. Dove. I love all Dove products. Are you kidding me? They're wonderful. And they're cheap. I got Violet, my husband got Scarlet. We've been trading with each other and stuff. Oh, that's so cute. Mm -hmm. Me and Jason, we have uh, Pokemon uh, Hello Pikachu. Or, yeah, that's what it's called, isn't it? Let's go. Let's go, Pikachu. We have that, and we've played it several times together. It's cute. Yeah. It's fun to play Pokemon with your, your, with your spouse. It's pretty neat. Yeah. It is. It's cute. My father father in law wears a seven. Yeah, that's pretty much me, like eight. Yeah. Do it. He's really little. He's like Faustine little. That's a cute game, too. I have the Eevee version. Aww. <clears throat> I've tried the charcoal uh, polish on your teeth. I got it from Lush. It worked really... Oh, man. You should try Lush uh, toothpaste. It's really nice. I love Lush products. Mm -hmm. I wish I had some. I wish, like, okay, people ask what would I want for Christmas. Okay, I'd like the Rose Jam collection from fucking Lush. That that would be a great Christmas present. Mm -hmm. The Rose Jam collection from Lush. Because I love Rose Jam. I love that scent. Mm -hmm. I love smelling like roses. My makeup is always on point. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if it's really expensive, I can't really get it. I get stuff like that at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. 
that's us lately. Like you want to, you want you you want the you want the product? Yeah, go to the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Thank God my purse carried some makeup though. I'd be doomed. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth, my two front teeth, my two front teeth. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. I'd love to get dentures for Christmas. That would be nice. I'd be like smiling all the time, just <laughs> getting all arrogant and stuff. Being like, I'm pretty again. I got my smile back. I don't have like rotten ass fucking teeth because my mom gave me such horrible fucking jeans. <laughs> my mom's teeth rotted out at this age, too. Mm. Nothing I can fucking do. I only buy one expensive thing, poison from Christian Dior. I've got it in my birthday. I've got it in my birthday since 1995. Oh, see, my Christian Dior perfume is Joy. Oh, I love some Christian Dior Joy. Uh, thank you, Puffy. No, it didn't have my, my laptop. I was just like, I ain't leaving the fucking house without that shit. Mm -hmm. Yep, Joy also, but so expensive. I know. I know it's expensive, but it's like, oh. It's such a beautiful scent. I miss it. Yeah. <laughs> I miss it bad. What does Jason want from old Saint Nick? Cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> he even laughs. Oh, he's a good answer. That's fine. <clears throat> Willie's Reserve stuff. Oh, Willie's Reserve? Some yeah. marijuana? That would be beautiful. He wants a green Christmas. I'll have a green yeah. Christmas. To smoke with you. Yeah. I'll have a green Christmas to smoke with you. With the chill and the bun, I will smoke with you. I'll have a chill on Christmas with you. <laughs> I just did that fucking improv shit. That was pretty good. Rev wants to go back in time to pull his money out of the stock market before it crashed. Yeah, right? Mm. Jason doesn't want snow. That That's one thing he would like for Christmas is no snow. That'd be nice. Yeah. He did say he wanted a laptop. Yeah, I did say that. Because I can't do anything right now. <laughs> yeah. You love my songs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Joy is cheap. 150. That ain't cheap, but it's so beautiful. Oh. Thank you for letting me have that experience. Yeah. Yeah, When I used to buy Joy, it was 150 About 150 120 like that. <laughs> The cheese sauce is my favorite. I seen it when I cooked. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. That's so sweet of you, Ted. Jesus bless you for that. Yeah, that's where I got my joy with Sephora. Have you signed President Trump's official Thanksgiving card yet? No. 
<laughs> My God. He even sets people up to give him a fucking Thanksgiving card. He's that arrogant. Where's my Thanksgiving card that I told everyone to sign this year? Oh wow! That's like inviting yourself over someone's house, Trump. Almost. Joy is a perfume. <laughs> it's <a> perfume. <laughs> it's Christian Dior. Beautiful scent. It is. I feel like a queen when I wear it. Very beautiful. Trump sent me a letter back congratulating me and my wife on our wedding. Oh, that's sweet of him. It probably was a person who, not really Trump, but that's sweet of him. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Whoa, Blockbuster tweeted. No way. This is so us. We just get active on Twitter and it's about to shut down. See you in another 10 years. Oh, my. <laughs> and then they tagged Elon Musk. Would you like to invest in a profitable business model, renting DVDs out to customers? Get this. When they don't return them on time, we charge them a late fee. DM for more details. No. Oh my god, Blockbuster, you are awesome. It is the official Blockbuster. That's nuts. Yeah, they just, uh, it said join 2009. Oh my god, Blockbuster. They need to exist again. They do need to exist again. Yeah, I want a Blockbuster video in every state. I do too. Dude, it's stationed out of Denver. Really? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> bring back Blockbuster, damn it. I, I, I say bring back the, the smell of Blockbuster. You remember the smell of Blockbuster? Yes, I do. Very much. And I love that smell. Shady, you got to get sturdy. Okay. No, it's officially Blockbuster. Popcorn and cheap carpet. And shout out to Colorado. I love Colorado, man. I love my home state. I love that state. I will always be in love with Colorado. And and he, he, he's got the bug, too. Yeah. He got the Colorado bug. It's awesome. Didn't want to leave it. No. Definitely not. If I could stay in Colorado my whole life, I would. Mm -hmm. Or Nebraska, where there's no sound. Yes. They don't have Duke's Mayo in Canada? Duke's, what the fuck? Right. Get that shit in Canada. You're depriving people of gloriousness. You, you thought, try Amazon, Gigi. Try Amazon. I'm sure you can get Duke's Mayo in, on Amazon. Because I can get Canadian freaking chips in, in, on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And I have gotten the Canadian ketchup chips. Okay? Because I wanted to try Canada's ketchup chips. Because everyone fucking talks about the ketchup chips. Mm -hmm. So I did it. And they're delicious. Mm -hmm. You are correct. Dukes is the bomb. <laughs> I lived here for 20 years of my life total. No place I'd rather live than Colorado. I know, right? Dukes gave me explosive diarrhea. It's beautiful. <laughs> you had chips and curry sauce? No, I've never had that. The Kit Kats? 
Okay, I got the special Kit Kats from um, the Tokyo, the Tokyo, like, uh, treat, Tokyo treat. Every month they give you a new Kit Kat flavor in Tokyo treat. Plus you get to eat some really good Japanese snack foods. Like, I recommend Tokyo treat. Everything's delicious. Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't had anything from Japan I didn't like. <laughs> like Mexico though their chips are good in Mexico okay their chips are good but their sweets other than the Mexican chocolate that's fucking good but their sweets I, I can't fucking understand that shit I can't understand why you would why you would like take a beautiful mango taste and fuck it up with like chili powder and shit like that. I don't get it. That's awesome, Ted. <laughs> Got the chocolate laser. Holy shit. Ah! <laughs> Fucking shit in your pants. Chocolate laser. Oh my god, that's great. Oh. <laughs> the chocolate. I can't. I can't. I'm thinking Star Wars now. The chocolate laser saver. <laughs> My mind goes places, folks. because white people don't like spices. That ain't true. I love habaneros. It's just, you don't take a mango taste and destroy it with a chili taste. I just, I can't. I want my sweet sweets, not, not like, oh, I have heartburn. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm goofy as fuck right now. <laughs> Papa Dunn's and Mango Chutney. See, oh, here's yeah. the thing. See, there, there's, there's, there's the mango though, the the mango salsa that I like. Ain't that messed up? It's like Mexican candy. But the thing is, it's like candy. When you want candy, you want it sweet. You don't want it like yeah. messed up. And it's always like the chili pepper don't, the, it don't taste right in those candies. No, I agree. Now Mexican cookies, those are fucking good. The fucking marsh, the white. The white and pink marshmallow ones with a coconut on them, those are delicious. Mm -hmm. But the candy and spices, oh, I can't do it. I don't get it. No, it's gross. Rev loves spicy, not anymore. Can't do it. He can't. Stomach's dumb. He can't. He can't. No. Nope. I can't do spicy. He can't do spicy. We can't even have marinara sauce without being like. Ah. That's true. And and speaking of nope, we should tell them nope was good. Oh yeah, we saw nope. It was. It was. It was. It was. I've seen better. It it's oh, it was good. I have to see it again. I wasn't really paying attention much. I was like on one of my freaking like phone games and being like while it was on. 
I don't know. It was okay. I've seen better. I think the best movie of 2022, and this is my fucking opinion, that I've seen come out in 2022 is probably Jurassic World Dominion. And I, I, I didn't even say Halloween, did I? I said Jurassic World. I very much enjoyed that better. Oh, wait. No. I lied. That's not the best movie. It's Beavis and Butthead does the universe. Oh my god, okay. That was great. That's the best movie, it's Beavis and Butthead does the universe. But then again, I'm a sucker for the Beavis and the Butthead. Yeah. Always. Okay. Always. Always. There's not a moment in my life where I didn't love them. But... <laughs> I measure a movie on how much they make me laugh or how, how the emotional experience is. Like, with Jurassic World Dominion, I was doing a lot of jumping in the movie. Like, oh my god! And, and you know, the Jeff Goldblum's in it, so it's like automatically like crushing time, because I love fucking Jeff Goldblum. They need to stop remaking movies. Yeah, but... Oh, Nick Cage is becoming Dracula in a movie, so I'm looking forward to that one. I want to see Nick Cage do fucking Dracula. And his western. Oh, yeah, his western. Dominion. You mean Jurassic World. Yeah, Jurassic World, Dominion. Did I say Jurassic Park? No, you said Jurassic World. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I guess, I guess we'd have to rewind it. I don't know. I'm old. Excuse me. My brain. It's not working. I'm using a lot of replacement words. It's kind of scary to tell you the truth. Has Rev tried proton pump inhibitor medication for the acid reflux? I have Crohn's and a hiatus hernia stomach. They put me on lansipropazole which stops the stomach from producing too much acid. No. He hasn't. No. But thank you. <laughs> I don't know. People can't do movies like they used to. They really can't. Even Quentin Tarantino says it, too. <laughs> Even though Quentin, he makes really good movies. Like, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was a fucking great movie. Mm -hmm. Does Rev stay off camera because he likes being naked with his floppage swinging around? What the hell? <laughs> what? Baby, you got floppage. I, 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 well, I do. You know that. I'm not new, no. <laughs> You're using the oven? Oh, no. Be careful. Maybe the quiet. Be careful. Don't burn yourself. You look close to me. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing you naked. Well, I mean, I, I was just going to say, I'll do it for you. You, you want to flash me? All yeah. right. Yes, Kane. Woo! Yes, do the helicopter, baby. I can do it, see? <laughs> Whatever. I can do that. That means you don't have a small dick. I'm sorry. If you can helicopter. <laughs> so whatever, man. Whatever. Ooh. <laughs> Whatever, man. Boom, chicka, wow, wow. I love when they do the helicopter. It's fun, isn't it? <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! We're talking!
talking about penis helicopters. There you go, my Mate audience. <laughs> it always goes back to the penis on Twitch. Always. <laughs> well, unless it's an Amaran stream, and then you're thinking about, yeah. Now Carrie Shanny and spin her like a helicopter. I don't think that's possible. I don't think he has the strength. I wish I did. Aw, that's okay. I wish I were like the firefighter dude that you dated. Or, what was he, a contractor? Or He was a construction worker. Construction worker, yeah, that's it. Ugh, I don't want to think about that. Yeah, but you said he was able to do that. That's amazing. Mm. Mm. It's a strong motherfucker. Mm. I dumped him. Anyway. You gotta do what you gotta do. <gasps> no, I'm not telling you the construction worker story. Ah. There's no good ones, right, honey? No. Not really. Not really. <sighs> Damn, someone said beta guys like Jason are always better than the alpha ones, in my opinion. Beta? I don't think I, you're beta. I don't, well, I, look. I don't think I'm even clear on what a beta male is. Really? Yeah, I don't, I'm not clear on what that means. If it means that the husband is willing to let his wife live her own life and have, and, and do her own shit, yeah, I'm beta. You're beta? Yeah. If that's what beta is. Now an alpha male goes, no, we're doing this in life. This is how we're living the life, and I'm saying it. If I'm not that. So no. that I'm not an alpha. That's fine with me. I like being a nice guy, actually. That's what I like being. I like being a nice guy. See, I don't look at guys like that beta and alpha and whatever yeah, they I fucking do. Stupid. I, I do too. I don't look at people like that. What's beta? What's alpha? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I just want to be a nice guy. Yeah. That's my goal, is to be a nice guy. But sometimes my <laughs> mental illness gets in the way of that. Thank you, Nicole. We have a Gavin. Uh-huh. A Gavin, baby. Yeah, he's a boy. Gavins. He had his foot. He had good food. Yes. He's a happy boy. His favorite, Nine Lives. Wow! Wow! <laughs> As I raised his hand up. Wow! Because he had his food. Every time you say food, he licks his lips like, hmm? I know. He's such a good boy. Like, I like food. He does. One minute. I don't want to show you my ass. You got pee? No. I'm just fucking fiction. Oh, that feel. Yeah. I got you. I don't want to show you my asshole. <laughs> You're just going to have to visualize it with your brain tube. You got a nice butthole. Oh, thank you. You there were you licking go. it the other day. Yeah, yes, last night. Yeah, last night you did like my asshole, didn't you? Yes, I did. Sorry, TMI guys. <laughs> we had fun. <laughs> brain tube? Yeah, brain tube. Brain tube? <laughs> Tubular brain? Yeah. Your brain's nothing but a bunch of fucking tubes. Oh, okay. That's true. I was worried when the rumor happened of Gavin being missing and that was a lie. Really? They fucking put that out there? Well, there was one, when we were in St. Louis and we had that accident, we thought we really did lose him in St. Louis. And, and we still thank God, me and Will, we still, to this day, we go, well, we thank God every day that Gavin's okay. That was so scary. Gavin, we love you. Boy. <laughs> what a boy! You never go ass to mouth. Mm. I love it. <laughs> That's that that gets me that 
that usually oh, get, okay. get, gets me, yeah. PG, baby. PG? Why? I don't know. You could say what you want on Twitch pretty much. Well, no racial slurs or uh, ethnic slurs. Did or... I say anything no. like that? No. I'm saying that that's what gets me on. Do I lick Rev's ass? Nah. No. And I wouldn't want that. <laughs> I wouldn't want ass play. <laughs> no, thanks. I didn't ask for it. No, you get it though, and you like it. I know. He was just like, we were cuddling, he was on my butt, and just started doing it. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was non-consenting ass to mouth because you didn't consent I just went down there I was cool with it okay <laughs> I think the moan said you liked it you know they did. Yeah. <laughs> or I did. <laughs> there you go. That's it. I liked it a lot. That's a good deal. A lot. Oh, my head hurts. To make yourself powerful, you must place yourself at the center of things. Okay. I don't want to be That's powerful. Kind of narcissistic. Yeah, I don't want to be powerful. I just want to be Shannon. And Gavin wants to Like, be all Gavin. these weirdos are, like, they act like they're all in competition with me. And I'm just like, dude, I'm not in competition with you. I don't give a fuck about competition. Right. You're non-competitive. No, I'm such a non-competitive person. Like, I don't give a fuck if someone's better than me or not. No, like, me either, right? Yeah. It's like, okay, good for you. <laughs> Play a game of wits with me. Let's see who wins. Wits? <laughs> the game of wits, yes. Oh, okay. I'm way, bo I'm way more wittier than most people. I'm quick. Quick wit. Yeah, I did consent to it. Trust me. I have no problem with him going all like, hmm. <laughs> Good. I was pretty sure you wanted it. I didn't care. It's like, oh, well, hello there. Yeah. You like sex, so. Did I like it? Of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? You do like that. I do. You're like, I'm not really into butt stuff. And then I, I got down there. You're like, wow, I guess I am. Yeah, he just knows what to do, man. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, he's taken. He just knows what to do. Thank you. I, I'm just got. I'll, I'll get out of this. Man. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> this couch sucks. Mm -hmm. It's old, man. Is what it is. I know. At least you got a place to put your butt, you know. You can have him keep him. Thank you. <laughs> I've learned too much. Oh my God, really? I've learned too much. Not, not nearly enough. <laughs> oh my god, Jason, you pimp. <laughs> you pimp. <laughs> He's like, not nearly enough, ladies. I got all the skills, ladies. <laughs> well, I cared. I didn't want to be the just slam, slam it and leave it, that type of shit. Type Who of knew a virgin would be my best lay? <laughs> hey. Hey. I cared. I was that girl that enjoyed deflowering men. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw a virgin. I'm like, ooh, 
Fresh meat. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Cabin's under the table. What a boy. <laughs> Oh my God, Ted, he's like, want to show the missus you really care? Don't get flowers or chocolate. Tum that leather donut after a bike ride. That's right. <laughs> after a bike ride. That's it. He's right, though. That's so fucking funny. How he word shit, man. That's yeah, great. It's pretty good. <laughs> and Jason, he's like, that's right. That's right. <laughs> you guys are nuts. <laughs> Why would you not want that? Uh, hey, some some women don't know, okay? Because okay. most guys don't do that shit. Okay. I'm just saying. Or they do it for like two seconds and then stop. Like, you're good, right? Yeah, I'm good, baby. Thanks. Two seconds. I know. You you ladies know what I'm talking about. It's fucking annoying. It's like, dude, I put all this work into you and you can't put any work into me? What's up with that shit? Okay, honey, you want your two and a half minutes of grunting here you go hon yeah how'd it feel wonderful awesome well i'll 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 just think about you know having an orgasm another time thanks hon now i gotta clean up myself yeah i love you too you go to the bathroom and clean up yourself, and he's already rolled over asleep. That was my life with Chris. Thrilling sex life we had. Thrilling. Yeah. That two and a half minutes of grunting. Woo! If you have a man like that, run. I know, right? I did have a man like that. Notice notice the key to did. Did. Used to. <laughs> now I have a man that's like, hey, baby. Lip, I want some dessert. And I'll be like, oh, you want some ice cream? Nah, baby, you're my dessert. Okay. <laughs> well, enjoy. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. I'm a happy woman in that area. <laughs> Fulfilled. In that area, I would say. That's what we want. Good for him, Puffy Kitten. My husband would never jackhammer me for two minutes and then peace out. You got a good man. Yeah. You got a good man then. Because mm -hmm. I've had a lot of crappy men who's done that to me. And it's just like... You feel like a cum dumpster. Wow, thanks, hon. Thanks for nothing. Thanks. <laughs> I ain't doing that again. Ted, you're a gentleman and a scholar. Thank you for that on her behalf. I always make sure my woman finishes every single time. Exactly. Good. Good for you. You should. Because that just sucks being stuck in a marriage where you're not getting that. I'm trying, Shannon. How? 
Sorry, I'm bitching and complaining. I apologize. To all the simpleton men out there, a woman wants passion, okay? Just, if anything, listen to Cardi B's WAP, okay? If your woman does not have that macaroni and cheese fucking sound, you ain't doing it right. Probably why she said yes when I showered her arena along with my dog and cooking skills. See? See, it works. <laughs> the phone receiver. Yeah. Destroyed. <laughs> Destroyed. Gavin. I remember you were on the, you used to be on the phone with me and you used to like whisper, I want to taste you. That mm -hmm. was so hot. Yeah, you like that. You want the sound of that suction. That's right. Ted knows. Yeah, he knows. He knows. He knows. This is a boy. I want my Gavins. You want Gavin? I'd love a Gavin. I know you're cuddling him, though. I'll give him to you in a bit. I'd love the cuddling of you, too. Yeah, I know. It's a boy. He's a good boy. Gavin's like, I went fasting and I got more food. Yeah. And it was good food. He's happy. Did you get your foods and was it good foods? He loved it. It's his favorite. It's nine lives. He has to go say hi to He's like, okay, mommy. I come. You say foods. <laughs> come here, baby. He's your good boy. Oh. Look at Gavin's. He's your good Gavin's. He's a good boy. He's like, hello, everyone. He always smiles on camera. It's so cute. I know. Like, look at this boy. He's always smiling. He's yeah. like, I love you all. I'm just a smiley kitty. Yeah. You guys are beautiful. He's a little baby. <laughs> he really is. He's just a sweetie baby. He got his kisses. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? No. No kissy. Kissy. Gavin, kissy. He's like, no, not in front of people. I have to be a gentleman. I know I am camera. He's looking into the camera, too. He, yeah, he wants to cuddle you, though. That's the thing. He does. He wants to cuddle He's like, it's getting late, mommy. I want to go to sleep and cuddle you. Yeah, that's true. Because he sleeps with, with, um, he sleeps with me in his arms. <laughs> we hug each other when we sleep together. Yeah. I'm holding him and he's hugging me it's the whole time. Beautiful. <laughs> that cat looking like he's got a thousand year stare. What do you mean a thousand year stare? What do you mean? I have a garbage. I have a happy voice. I have a happy voice. He's a happy boy. He's your so cool, sweet baby. <laughs> You're your so sweet baby. Yeah. He's like, I got foods. I'm a happy boy. He's very happy. <laughs> what does watermelon do? Most of the time, she's stalking Gavin. <laughs> yeah. Doing her warrior cries. I haven't seen her tonight, though. Mm -hmm. So she must be sleeping somewhere. Upstairs. Rev might need to be jealous. Gavin is moving on in his girl. I know, right? Oh, it's so cute. He's like, oh, he's my baby. <laughs> Oh, boobie. 
e de orgulho, boi de Covid. O que é isso, little feet? Yeah. You got to be short little feet. Toe beans. You got little toe beans. <laughs> yes, you got a little toe beans. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's like, I just a happy boy. Yeah. He's all warm and stuff, too. Yeah. He's so good to sleep with because he's like a little heater. <clears throat> yeah. So if you're cold, grab a Gavin and it'll keep you warm. Yeah. Don't you, baby? Don't you, baby? He's a good boy. He's like, yes. <laughs> so sweet. I love this cat so much. Me too. I love this baby. Mm -hmm. Um, Watermelon likes, um, sleeping by her feet at night. Sometimes she cuddles Rev's butt, though, yeah. at night. Spoon. Yeah. Gavin's like, I go on my pillows. Yeah. But yeah, she'll, she'll either sleep on her feet or by Rev's butt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But does she like to be cuddled? No. She will not be cuddled, but she'll sleep next to us. Yeah. So, I don't know what that means. She's unique. Yeah. She loves us, mm -hmm. but she doesn't want to be cuddled. No. No. By anybody. No, she doesn't want to be picked up. She doesn't want to be cuddled. Gavin, on the other hand, you grab him and you're like, I need your love. And, and he'll just automatically be like, okay. Kissy, can I please have a kiss, Mr. Man? <laughs> he gave me kisses before. Yeah, I know. He's like, no, not now. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Very cute. I know. He really is a good boy. Mm. He feels good he got his food. I don't watch King Cobra, no. Do I worry about people online? Yeah. I'm worried about Foodie Beauty and Amber Lynn. I don't watch King Cobra. I'm not really into his content. Um, I know he gets bullied a lot by people. But it's... it's. Now you kiss me. Now you kiss me, mister. Mm. He got salmon all over his couch. Oh my gosh. But no, I don't watch him. I know doesn't isn't he the same guy that like makes Harry Potter wands? Yeah. Yeah. No, the content I watch is really different from anything. <laughs> I like watching animal videos most of the time. Um, documentaries. Uh yeah, political stuff. I love Hasanabi. He makes me giggle. No, I know he's a really nice guy. I know that about King Cobra. He's a good soul, no matter what anyone says. Yeah, I've seen that in him. I've seen that in him. He's not a bad guy. You know, a lot of these people, they take the reactions from being bullied and treated like shit and they make it seem like you're this horrible person um, because you're reacting to people being assholes to you. And they're like, see, look how horrible he is. And it's like, dude, when you constantly poke, poke, poke at someone and they finally blast you off and say, fuck you assholes, and it's worse than what you would say, what do you fucking expect? Do you, like, 
Like, do, do you do ex expect people to just constantly be poked and, and, and them not saying anything that you're a jackass over it? No, eventually people will get sick of you and call you a fucking jackass. Mm -hmm. Or worse, for poking at them. But they act like people are such horrible people because they fucking say fuck you once in a while. When the fact is, they're the most reactive and silly about the whole situation. Because if you say one thing regarding that, one thing toward them, they they start yelling and screaming and acting like you put them on some kind of gladiator fucking lineup. That's awful. So, like, I get where he's coming from. And if he drinks the pain away, there's nothing you can do about it, you know? That's, that's his decision when he wants to decide to stop drinking or not. You know, I can only be a mouthpiece out there and say that, you know, these people, they, they'll bully you to the point where you do want to drink and you do want to take drugs and, and you do want to just try to get out of the reality that you feel so hated and ostracized. So I get it. Totally. And the sick thing is these people po purposely poke you to get a reaction that is negative. Just so they can go and say that you're evil. Like, the real monster is the people poking the person who just wants to do their own thing. Let's just be honest. The real monsters are the people wanting the react reaction. Because most of all, these people who, who, who poke are fucking pussies anyway. They can't take anything their way without crying to mommy and telling the whole world, Look what they said to me! Like, I... <laughs> Imagine if I did that. Every single negative comment I get, I make a video like a big fucking pussy and, and, and just be like, I knew we didn't send that to me. I mean, I only told them they were fat and lazy and needed to get a job and horrible people and they don't deserve any happiness. And then they call me an asshole? How dare they? They're horrible. See, they're horrible. <laughs> I'm a horrible person because I told someone to fuck off after being bullied by them, okay? Well, I'll take being a horrible person. <laughs> I'll take it. Because telling that person who was an asshole and you just finally said fuck off, it, it was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> But then, but then you grow and realize that you can pick and choose your battles and you don't have to respond to every single fucking asshole out there. Because you learned how to get confidence in this business. You learn how to realize that their opinions does not mean that's who you truly are. And most of the things they say about you is bullshit anyway, and you should acknowledge the fact that you know who you truly are. So why even fucking fuck with these idiots who just want to fucking lie about their, their, your life? I mean, they're the ones paying attention to you. You're not paying attention to them. They're coming to you to say these horrible, horrendous things. You ain't going to them and saying it. So you know what? You should give yourself a slap on the back and be like, I did a good job. I actually have integrity. These people have shit. Imagine living in their shoes. Where they feel like they have to, the only way how they can feel validated in life is to poke people and treat people like shit. Imagine how it feels to be them. Imagine. That must be such a lonely, insecure place. 
that these people have to that these people are in such a lonely insecure place that you think your only validation is to make fun of someone wow that's just fucking sad that's just straight up fucking sad straight up you know like i got enough confidence in myself to know that i'm nothing like what these people have to say i am i know it Yeah. Say hi to the snipers. What's up, motherfuckers? You enjoying stealing my content so you can get validation over who you are? Because you enjoy the attention I bring to you? I'm sorry, I'm not that insecure. I can do things on my own. I don't need you guys. I can do it on my own. It don't matter. <laughs> when is another channel not playing my live? They have nothing better to do with their lives. You know, I, 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 I have, I actually I have an excuse right now not to be on live, you know, because I don't have any family to go to for Thanksgiving. I'm not having a Thanksgiving. But these, these, these people that are snaping, they have families. They have kids they, they're supposed to be, you know, taken care of. But they're more focused that I'm live because they weren't getting the attention they needed. That's true. That's true. Maybe the quiet. Like... I'm pretty sure who's sniping me right now. Why don't you take care of your children? You like to say that shit about me all the fucking time. I know you have a fucking child. So why aren't you taking care of your child during this holiday season? It's, it's 8 o'clock p.m. Shouldn't you be watching Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving with your child? Nah, instead you're sniping for the attention and the lulls. Ooh. I'm done. I'm done. I don't fucking focus on them. I don't fucking care. They're known talent idiots at the end of the day. It doesn't matter, Ted. You don't have to tell me what they're doing. I don't care. I don't care. I'm doing my own thing. Let's not focus on them. That's what. That's why they're doing this, because they need attention. And I don't need to give them attention, because they don't value my, uh, my person. It's fine by me. Fine by me? I don't give a fuck. I'm doing my own thing, and they're not important in my fucking life. <laughs> I can actually make content and people watch because you motherfucking snipers are watching. I'm making content and you're still watching cause I make the fucking content for your people to fucking watch cause they don't really care about you they just want the fucking drama and people making fun of each other cause they're insecure little brats who haven't grown the fuck up cause they're in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s anyway oh wow <laughs> <laughs> hey man they just showing how unethical they are that's okay 
I, I'd, I'd rather have the, um, the, the, the gall to do it on my own. I don't, I don't, I don't need someone to drive along what I have to say. I'm, I'm, I'm actually smart. I can ramble on and on. You know, I, I don't need to watch a video and be like, oh, I have nothing to say on my own. So I have to watch these videos of these other people in order to have something to say. <laughs> anyway. Shani, if you hit your home button on YT, do you see Chantel then Shani needs love? Huh? No, I'm not on YouTube. <laughs> hey someone would rather pay attention to me than their children on a holiday i i i i personally would give anything to have my children in my household so I can celebrate the holidays with them. But these motherfuckers choose to listen to me instead of paying attention to their children. And then they say, I'm a bad parent. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Ignore your child for me. I guess I'm that much more special in your fucking life. I should call my sons. I've been talking to them all day. They're fine. I just, I would have loved to like have them here tonight and tomorrow and we could like watch movies together. You know, we always watch the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving together. Exactly, just gotta ignore them, though I have no idea what a cantankerous ox is. Oh, that sounds awful. Oxtail is good, though. <laughs> Oxtail is good. Make a cutout of a middle finger? Nah. They're not worth that time or energy, frankly. I don't know. William's growing up way too fast, man. He's he's almost he's already thinking about college and everything and I'm just like I I can't. Anyway, feeling better, migraine gone. It's going down since it got dark out. <sighs> you should get one dollar every time someone says your name. Ah, oh, that would be awesome. I'd be, I'd be a millionaire. I'd be a fucking millionaire. Uh. Mm-hmm. Fuck. 
there's medicine shortages going on right now. That sucks ass. China claims world's first kerosene-powered engine could propel jets nine times the speed of sound. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry the lady in his shit. The light and shit, and I don't have a fucking ring light. I wish I did have a ring light. You know, my phone's too bright to be a light. Shani, do you know any jokes? I tell jokes daily. <laughs> like, okay, there was one I made up today, actually. <laughs> And it it was ba it's so bad. It's a racist joke. <laughs> kind of, sort of, maybe. I don't know. But <laughs> if you didn't know, Kanye West, I made it up. It's on my fucking, um, my Twitter. But <laughs> Kanye West asked Donald Trump... If he wanted to be his running mate. So my 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 dark humor comes into light and I'm like Well, black and orange is Halloween colors, so would this make this the nightmare before Congress? <laughs> I, I thought it was a good joke. Because Kanye wants to go around and talk about how he's some black Jew. Okay. Well, we got the orange man and we got the black Jew. So, like, might as well make a fucking joke out of it. <laughs> I could see Kanye using that, though. The nightmare before Congress. I could see him doing that. But that... Dude, I, I'll be honest. I... Like, for comedy's sake, I am totally for the trump ye collab. I'm for that. That would be hilarious to watch. Fucking Kanye and Trump acting like the most arrogant pieces of shit in the world. That would be amazing. You should do more of a comedy routine online, maybe half an hour show every couple of weeks or something. Yeah, maybe. I, I would love to get into stand-up, actually. Oh. My. God. I heard a great joke. It was the Jewish Magneto, but he could only manipulate gold and silver. Thanks, Wilson. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, people do need more jokes. Laugh. You know, even laugh at the darkness. I, I like one of the best ways how to survive is is learning to laugh at the fucked upness. And I, 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 I'm a sheer believer at laughing at the fucked upness instead of just being like, oh, woe is me. Okay, make a fucking joke out of it. You know, there used to be a time where people joke and not get so offensive. They just laugh at it. Because what is a joke, really, other than just seeing the irony in certain situations and stuff in life? 
Why did Princess Diana cross the road? Oh God, Ted. Why? This is gonna hurt. <laughs> she wasn't wearing her seatbelt. Is that too soon, guys? Is that too soon for that joke? It, it really is a long time ago. I remember I was living in um, Black Mountain, North Carolina. And it was like about 3 a.m. And my parents woke me up and was like, Shannon, I'm like, what? Get up. You need to watch the news. Why? Princess Diana died. What? Princess Diana died. Holy shit. How? Fucking paparazzi got her. Holy shit. But I'm, I'm glad there's laws to protect celebrities now and shit because the paparazzi got out of hand. They got out of hand. Chasing people just to get fucking pictures. Jesus Christ. How did Jason react to Princess Diana dying? I don't know. Mm. He's not paying attention to anything. He's kind of under the covers right now. Yeah, I caught your migraine. Dude. You caught my migraine? Yeah. Fuck. It's like I look more to cuddle on you. You want to cuddle me, baby? I love your cuddles. He's asking for cuddles. Mm. Yeah, paparazzi are professional stalkers. You know, they're no different than the fucking trolls on the internet, really. Yeah. Same people. And they don't care about the consequences of how they affect others' lives. Mm -hmm. Vultures. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go so the hubby can lie on my butt and feel better. Yeah. Cause he 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 just likes cuddling me, and he needs to uh, he needs the cuddles. Do we get aspirin? We're going to. We're going to. We've just been dealing with this cold, and we've been passing it back and forth to each other. Yeah, I think so. So. I think I should have half of that slug. Shani. Signing off. I want to be on all Thanksgiving tomorrow for you guys. For the lonely people who have shit to do like me. Yeah, stay sassy. Maybe quiet. You guys have a good one. Happy Thanksgiving. Peace in Maranatha. Remember, if you haven't taken your turkey out of the freezer, do it now. Later. I'm going. I need to relax with a hubby. Yeah. <laughs> cuddles. Cuddles. Yeah, my favorite. I love the cuddles. <laughs>